What's up everyone? So for the second vlog in a row, I'll have to go ahead and start over now that I plugged my mic in. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fact that I have the Cena now and I connect that all to my phone and I get that all done ready to go and I just forget to plug my mic in. I don't know what my deal is. Anyway, one of my topics for the day, which I already discussed, and I'm going to have to go ahead and do it all over again, is going to be the generosity of the moto vlogger world. You know, ever since I started the moto vlogging, and I think I had my two subscribers, I uh, had a couple people check out my videos and do their own moto vlog. That, you know, they, they had like modest amount of followers, 100, 150. I had a couple different guys go ahead and give me a shout out and that boosted I think from the shout outs that boosted me from like 10 up to about 75 or 80 you know I still got a modest I think like 140 now which you know I never even expected to get that many but anyway it was the generosity of these guys to go ahead and mention me and tell all their subscribers hey go check this guy out you might like it so that's very much appreciated. Then also, I've seen a few guys that, that are able to do it. They've actually done giveaways to their subscribers. Which I, I think is the coolest thing ever if you can afford to do it. I personally can't. But you know, maybe one day life will be a little different and I'll be able to. So you all know AutoTac, he gave away a t-shirt, which I happen to be the winner of is really cool. Love the t-shirt. He's a cool guy. Hope to ride with him someday. Then, uh, Alaskan Dual Sport at one point gave away a quadcopter. Which, that, that's just beyond generous. <clears throat> uh, I've heard of other people, you know, giving away a few things. I can't think of any specifics right now. I know there was uh, somebody that offered to do a gift card or a Harley shirt from his local store if you weren't interested in the Harley shirt. I just found this to be a really generous community. So the one currently going on is a guy by the name of Two Wheeled Obsession. Now he's doing a three different $50, $50 Amazon giveaways. Uh, one will be to someone who commented on this giveaway post. I believe the other one is to a random subscriber. And the third is going to be anybody who mentions him in their moto vlog or any other kind of vlog. Now, I'm fairly sure that I'm too late for the shout out entry, which is fine. I'm not real worried about that. It's just, I just wanted to point out his generosity. And the guy deserves a shout out whether he's doing a giveaway or not. So. If I'm too late, oh well, he's still getting a much deserved shout out. Well, this guy, the best way I can describe it is he's one of us. He just loves bikes. Everything bikes, everything on two wheels. He does uh, a lot of demo rides and gives his impressions. He uh, recently bought himself an FZ09, which he's done a lot of mods to already. And every mod that he's done, he does a video on how to do it yourself. Which for me, that is very, very cool. So when I bought my bike, I didn't know a damn thing about working on them. And I've been able to do a lot of work myself. Which quite honestly, I wouldn't have been able to afford to get done if I was having to pay somebody else to do it. You know, what, what does a fluid change cost if you uh, bring my Harley in? I think it's in the range of like $300. <laughs> where for 80 bucks I can go buy everything and do it myself which I learned how to do from watching YouTubers so Mr. Two Wheeled Obsession he also uh, is a cigar connoisseur and he has another channel that's dedicated to uh, rating cigars which you know, I don't know how many of you are into that I can't exactly say I'm a connoisseur but definitely uh me and the guys at work, when we have the downtime, we like to sit out back on our lounge chairs and, you know, on a nice evening and, and burn a stogie while we talk about the day. So, again, that's too old obsession. He is in Florida, so he gets to ride all year round like I do. 
but if you get the chance, go check this channel out. Yeah, you'll, I'm sure you'll like it, and I'm, I can almost guarantee you'll want to subscribe. So go check him out. And again, thank you for doing the giveaways, Mr. Tools of Session. It's really cool again. So for my ride today, I'm just out kind of wandering aimlessly. I just did a, uh, a, a, a download on my Thundermax. Actually, I shouldn't even call it a download. It was just rewriting the fuel offsets. It's set to auto-tune and it remembers things from rides. And the auto-tune can only do really small adjustments. In order to do the bigger adjustments, you got to plug it into your computer and let the computer program do its thing and remap everything. So, I mean, I wasn't really having any problems. I just wasn't running quite as great as I wanted it to. And I don't remember the last time I did an update, so I just went ahead and did it. And so far, so good. Everything is nice. So, you all know, I've mentioned it before that my dream bike is a street glide special. Well, the wife doesn't want me to ever get a street glide special. She wants me to get an Ultra Limited. You know, she's got rheumatoid arthritis and stuff like that, and she won't go on the bike. Because I'm like, I can understand why the Dyna would be too uncomfortable for her to be in the sit in the, the passenger position on this. She wants me to get an Ultra Limited so she would have the nice comfortable little cubby hole back there and then she could ride too. Now I prefer a street glide, but what I can do is get some of the aftermarket lights that go down in the gap between the fender and your saddlebag. And what that does, because the, uh, the newer Ultra Limiteds, they're brake light, and they have a brake light, actually, that's on the fender. But the turn signals are in the tour pack. So basically what I'm getting at is if I were to get an Ultra Limited at some point, I could take that tour pack off, as long as I have those auxiliary lights to use for turn signals. So I can take the I can take the tour pack off and basically make it a street glide when I'm out riding on my own. And then on the rare occasion that she might want to go with me, or if we figure out a way to actually do a road trip, I can put the tour pack back on. She'll be comfortable and happy. So what do y'all think of that idea? My dad has a 2014 Ultra Limited, which he just put the auxiliary lights on, but I. I live in Southern California, he lives up near Seattle. I haven't been able to see it in person yet. All right, so my aimless wandering ended up at the California Aqueduct. Kind of cool out here. It's so freaking windy though. Oh, cool. You can fish here. I like. Yeah, well, so I guess there's not a whole lot exciting to show you guys here, except that it's windy as hell and there's water. Didn't know you could fish from here. That's kind of cool though. I know they get some uh, striped bass in here. south back to uh, good old San Clarita. A nice little desert run, just a couple hours to 
you know, relax my mind a little bit, get some right in. So the aqueduct is pretty cool. I think I'll go back there again. Unfortunately, next week, we got the uh, heat wave coming again. And my air conditioner died again, so obviously there's another leak somewhere. So I don't know if I'll be riding next week. I'm not going to have anywhere to cool down if my house is going to be roasting. So I got nothing left but freeway and uh, go ahead and say goodbye. So y'all uh, be safe, enjoy your uh, holiday weekend, I'll be working most of it. Getting a good old double time on the board. So anyway, rubber side down, shiny side up. Take care everyone.